Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret. Today I'm going to be reading in Psalm 119, verse 32. Father, sanctify us by your truth. Your word is truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 119, verse 32, the writer says, I will run in the way of thy commandments when thou shalt enlarge my heart. I will run in the way of thy commandments when thou shalt enlarge my heart. Our heart, or as it refers to here, our soul, is the master of our body. Our soul is the master of our body. What fills our soul will come out in our words. What fills our soul determines how we spend our money. What fills our soul will come out in our words because Jesus said out of the abundance of the heart or the soul, the mouth speaks. What fills our soul determines how we spend our money because Jesus said, where your treasure is, there will be your heart also. It's easy to see if God is important to someone, if they reverence God, if they respect him, just look at their credit card bill and see where they spend their money. Listen to them speak and judge their words by the word of God. And you can see the condition of their soul. People do what is in their heart. People act according to what is in their soul. When God grabs a hold of a person's soul and God becomes important to that person, then you will see that person change outwardly in word, thought, action, how they spend their money. You will see that outward change after a person repents, and makes Jesus Christ their Lord and Savior. There will be a change. You cannot go on in sin if you are truly saved. I'm talking about going on in sin without repenting, without confessing, and feeling perfectly fine about it. No, you have a change of heart. There's a change on the inside of you. You are a different person when you get saved. And you don't always do what is right, you don't always say what is right. Maybe you don't always spend your money the way you should. But that will be the direction of your life. People today, unfortunately, modern evangelicalism today in many places has replaced the word of God and salvation, which comes from preaching hell and sin and judgment, as well as forgiveness and mercy through Jesus Christ. The church has replaced that with behavior modification, with counseling, which uses behavior modification to change people's outward behavior. It doesn't work because they're not changed on the inside. You need to be saved and filled with the Spirit of Almighty God, and then the outside will take care of itself. Jesus said, change what's on the inside and the outside will become clean. For more of God's word, go to the BibleVerseByVerse.com and study it verse by verse with me using my audio Bible messages. Once again, that's at the BibleVerseByVerse.com. Until next time, this is Michael Moret. So long, everyone.